Recently, Pastor Luis Guerrera, who uh, is out in Portugal, and who I have several of his videos on my channel concerning the Kenzo and Robert Asushi invented testimonies, he posted to me that there was a new character added to these testimonies. Well, as I showed in my first exposed video, which was unbelievably back in 2018, I say unbelievably because I didn't know that it would go further than that. I thought that would be the end of it. But instead, I got involved in exposed after exposed, and it continues on because the creators of it and the people who are the promoters of it, they don't relent. They don't stop, even though the one of the main channels who is Evangelism Online, he even had his channel shut down. Someone just gave him another channel, and he just picked up where he left off, and he is back to where he was before. He has posted every single Asushi video. Now, the thing about this, if you're new to this, this Asushi Fables really is not different from this QAnon, this QAnon invention that has taken hold of the world. It's, it is built on falsehood. It has motivated people to even go to criminal levels on their belief of this invented false theory which is built around a political angle. Well, I can tell you the same thing has happened with these Asushi fables. They have created a uh, fanatics who are not questioning. They're accepting the, the, the words and ideas of others. They, are, they don't want to believe what, what we're trying to show them because this particular uh, invention is all based on uh, Bible. The Bible, uh, as far as people giving testimonies of giving, going to heaven and hell, which had become popular on YouTube, well, there's some people or person that decided to invent a series of uh, like like a, a novel of a a man and then his his family his son and and they're setting it up for all the children underneath them who have spiritual experiences going to heaven and hell and with actually things that have been proven to be even heresies and they've been feeding this to the brazilian people and to the point where this character and his son have become really a focus of idolatry and the people have become fanatical that when I started this exposed thing I've learned there were other people who tried to tell their own brethren in Brazil that these things didn't add up they were they were not true and they were getting their lives threatened. So when I came in the scene, it seemed like I was the only one, but I was learning that there's such a core fanaticism here that those who would try would get threatened. And then in, in addition, the inventors of this, they act like terrorists. They wove into the story early on that if anyone spoke against this testimony given by this invented character called Kenzo, that, that the Lord himself said the person would go to hell. They would, they would even die. And they even created two, at least two fake persons who were said to come out against Kenzo and created fake deaths and disappearance of these people in order to keep the people afraid, in order to keep the people in a grip of fear. And that's why I say they're terrorists. They act like terrorists to maintain the popularity and the the um, invented reality and the hold on the people, the hold on the people, and they've made uh, people even go to criminal reactions where uh, these uh, some of the followers have actually given death threats, bomb threats, to those persons who who would come out to try to speak anything against it. I remember there was a brother Marcos. He was the, the first one who came out. He, he received a message from the Lord telling him that uh, these were inventions from people's mind. And that poor brother 
had to soon uh, just uh, go into hiding because he and his family were being given bomb threats and it went on to even um, uh, uh, everybody who would who would want to take the material that I presented they would get attacked they would get attacked that they would they would just have to give they would give in out of fear even though we don't have a spirit of fear Bec the problem is is that they were running into persons who went to criminal levels in this fanatical belief and I myself even put on my channel that I and Pastor Lewis we both had gotten death threats to remove our videos exposing these as false and so this is really a serious thing not because so much of the worldly consequences but as Christians it's our duty to expose works of darkness Ephesians the scripture tells us that we should have nothing to do with them but rather expose them and this really has been the whole motive behind my doing it and other persons doing it like Pastor Lewis because this is a work of darkness it's we've proven it's a work of darkness because first of all these characters they don't exist every place that they've been said to be have uh, been shown that they have never been there they've never existed I myself have been able to show on the, in the United States they've never been here and they not only uh, haven't been in Denver Colorado where they started it but they have no trace whatsoever in the entire United States because when people come out with evidence to show otherwise the authors of this will then change the details to say oh well we didn't mean that he was a have a ministry he was traveling through the United States having a ministry well there's no trace ever of anyone and so they'll keep changing it they went on to say that the son went to Hungary Deborah said well no one in Hungary heard it praise God Pastor Lewis is very zealous he even called up uh, the, um, the overseers there in Hungary of churches and they never even heard of Robert a sushi so it just just place after place person after person the Lord would send who would be in that area who would come they would tell me or they would tell Pastor Lewis they never heard of such a person however this doesn't deter the devil because through these particular testimonies the devil has created a way to get people's eyes off the biblical truth and to wander off into myths to wander off into creations that actually go off into heresies oh they turn from the truth wonder of lost and in this way and in several other ways that I've detailed and Pastor Lewis have detailed they are taking people away from the faith they are taking people into another gospel they are getting people to go to destruction and it's very serious and so when Pastor Lewis told me they had come up with yet another one another invented character and he wanted me to look into it as he said here we need you to analyze carefully all these posts that are in evangelismo online and luz santos canal evangelico and make a refutation of all these false testimonies and he went on into another person's testimony where right now this video i'm going to handle is about naomi the new latest character called naomi Amaoka and I can tell you when I looked into it it didn't take long for me to find the evidence to be able to share with you that these new tales that are being uh, presented because two videos have arisen out of this this person's this invented person's 
testimony. And I'm going to share with you right now what I uh, discovered, what I found that completely reveal that this new character is just that, a character, an invention, an addition from the pit of hell to this testimony to try to keep persons gripped. Okay, so what we have here is this is a testimony of a supposed Japanese girl said to be 24 years of age that uh, on April 19, 2020 in Japan she had an experience where an angel came and gave her a trip to hell and a trip to heaven and in this trip to heaven she was shown a mansion that belonged to a Japanese missionary who was names was not said but the way it was said it was big red flags that it was all Kenzo Sushi and his son and it was all really just done to give a literary plant of support that they are real so I'm going to share with you right now, just briefly, I'm going to read to you the parts um, because really this still is all in Portuguese and, and I prayerfully hope that we're going to destroy the validity of this so much that uh, those channels in English who would pick up what Evangelismo did that they will, they will just not bother to do this, not bother to follow in the steps of the fraud and just move along, have a fear of God and not continue defrauding the Christian community with these invented evils that lead people from the true faith and off to destruction. I'm not going to read the whole thing to you, but I'm going to read the things of, of the key highlights. So this girl, her name is, she's called Naomi, and she gives this story that she was taking care of her sister who had just she had had surgery and her sister she painted as a worldly person who uh, has strayed from God but she herself was uh, in the fear of God and she, while her sister was in bed sleeping she was herself off in prayer and when she went to prayer she had an experience with an angel she felt her body go numb and she had she called a new experience that's an out-of-body experience and she saw herself leave the bed and at the time an angel then appeared to her which it's planted in the, this tale that it wasn't the first time she saw this angel and this angel came to tell her something pretty much unbiblical which was that, I'll read what it says here in the English that I translated. The Lord has been pleased by your effort and for your obedience, I'm happy to reveal more to you of the mysteries in the spirit world. Now look at that. It's completely unbiblical that when we're obedient, that the Lord is going to send us an angel to give us a reward here because the Bible tells us that we should have a reward our treasure in heaven our rewards are in heaven Matthew 6 19 to 21 do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven all the rewards we're going to get will be when we are afterwards with the Lord in heaven. Colossians 3 23 to 24, whatever you do work at it, with all your heart, as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know, that you will receive an inheritance, from the Lord, as a reward. 1 Peter 1 4, to an inheritance that is imperishable, undefiled, and unfading, kept in heaven for you. Luke 6 22 to 23, blessed are you, behold, your reward is great, in heaven. We do not get 
instant rewards here when we're obedient. We're just doing our job. In fact, there are, the Lord has a parable about that. You know, we're just servants doing our job. And if we're obedient, we don't get instantly rewarded. Luke 17, 9-10 Does he thank the servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, say, We are unworthy servants, we have only, done what was our duty. 1 Peter 1 14, As obedient, children, do not conform to the passions of your former ignorance. Already, we see the mind of the person behind this who keeps taking these things out of the way of the Bible, but in ways that seem right to men. There is a way that seems right to men, the scripture tells us, but, it way, but, that, but its way leads to death. And one of the things about this Kenzo thing is it's, it's made people think that the Christian faith were rewarded here on earth for doing things as we do them and that we climb levels, we become uh, super believers on earth, we can get higher up like a game, like a video game, you know that, and you know what? This the target of the of the people really main target that uh, is being done here are two young persons, persons who are teenagers, persons in their twenties and their early thirties, who don't really have the biblical uh, maturity at all. In fact, they may not even know anything at all at the, of the Bible, but they love Jesus. They are the ones being targeted, and this kind of approach. It's making sense to them. They not knowing the Bible at all. They're believing that you know there is such thing as different levels as a uh, believer, and that Kenzo was at a higher level than many people. When really the highest, the highest person Jesus Christ has said, and he told this to the apostles, who were looking to you know even achieve sitting next to him. You know, those, those brothers, you know, uh, they were um, um, really uh, hoping to, uh, to, on earth, to be able to secure that spot. You know, Jesus, Jesus plain out told, told them, told the apostles, the highest person is a person who's to, who makes himself the lowest and serves. That's the highest person. Mark 9, 34-35 but they kept silent, for on the way they had argued with one another, about who was, the greatest. And he sat down, and called the twelve. And he said to them, If anyone would be, first, he must be last of all and servant of all. There, we don't have levels. We don't achieve levels here on earth. This is, this is taking people to other gospel. We have rewards in heaven. We're going to get crowns in heaven. But just because we're obedient on earth, we're not going to get an angel saying, The Lord is so pleased with what you did. You now get to go to hell, or you now get to go to heaven for a few minutes. You are rewarded now. So already, a big flag of a false invented testimony. I mean, not all, I'm not even getting to the other things that, that uh, reveal this, but, but just as what's being said, Already, it's unbiblical, what's going on here, okay? But the, the teller of this story has had a few years telling stories, so as far as fiction-wise, they give gripping stories, and so here we have suddenly a black hole appears in the floor, and the trip that she recounts to hell, pretty much they are based on testimonies you can find on the internet of... Uh, Angelica or Richard from Heaven Seekers testimonies uh, that, that start with the football team that she saw in hell and also then uh, modeled after the graphic paintings of a Korean artist and I want to warn you that the one that they start with the girl with the girl I'm not even going to talk about that's in hell to me that's a demonic plant that if you watch this and you, if you see that you can become defiled. You can be dragged into sin just by hearing that part of the testimony. You see, Satan is very clever. He 
has been around for numbers of, of, of time I can't even express to you. He has been dragging humanity into sin like babies in a candy store starting with Eve. He's a great manipulator. He put in here a testimony, a little, not uh, in this testimony, uh, uh, a person in hell that if you just hear this, if a person, a brother or sister is weak, it can lead to them to sin. It can lead to sins in the mind because you know, even if you think about, as the Lord said, if you think about adultery, you've done it. Matthew 5 28. But I say to you, that whoever looks at a woman to lust for her, has already committed adultery with her in his heart. So the devil's very clever. He's put something in here that can take some brethren into a sin of the mind. It's still a sin. It's still a sin. So I'm not going to even speak of it because to me that's a demonic seed. So see, there are ways the devil works. He's, he's already put a heresy. He's already put something unbiblical just to start with it. And changing what what we get as believers putting rewards here instant rewards making people to be obedient not because uh, they love Jesus but because they want to earn a trip to heaven for a few minutes or a trip to hell okay so we already got some some unbiblical heret heretical things here and then we have a plant and the devil that can lead you to sin and then we have information we're being told that football itself is invented by the devil when it's not football that's the problem the problem is the problem with anything in this world when you make that pursuit uh, uh, your God it can happen even to um, this Asushi thing they've made these characters though they worship them so it can be not just sports so so the person behind this is just instilling needless fear into all kinds of thing needless um, uh, prohibitions here we already have in the very beginning several things false teaching a heresy and a seed of defilement that can lead people to crumble in sin that's, that's just in the beginning and this is only a few minute testimony you realize that even though a person has written this the person is getting influenced by the enemy because we wage war not against flesh but against rulers and powers of darkness Ephesians 6 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in high places so the person who has been long doing this they already have a seared conscience to begin with because they are presenting as true what's a total invention then they really <laughs> were scheming in this because before we get out of hell the the author has planted also a fear a fear experience to get people to once more be afraid a terrorist creation put a terrorist fear again once more into the people in this one they're showing Christians in hell for being too questioning and murmuring against revelations oh yes against revelations that God gives his children and persecutes the service of Christ so and making it that that for doing that they are at the point of blaspheming the Holy Spirit I saw Christians who were in hell being too questioning and murmurers demanded against the revelations God gave his children and persecuted the servants of Christ reach the point of blaspheming meets the Holy Spirit going against the revelations they were all deformed half human form and half animal shape see they're just writing the the biblical truth any way they feel like it and what they want to do is what they have been trying to do for the last three years is to give people terror to question whether these are true or false and if they to give them the fear they're going to die like I said they invented two people in the first couple years 
that were on social media that never existed and say that they died for for speaking against them and they've shown they've invented people that have seen in hell and now they redoing it again reaffirming it again that now there's the, the, that in all the places this Japanese girl went to she, before she left there she had she had to see the place for for Christians who question too much revelations from other Christians not biblical not biblical truth but revelations from other Christians and that to do so is not for it's not for telling somebody like like Jesus gave the example that the fair that the that the Pharisees were were saying that he cast out the devil because he had a demon in him you see that was saying that what well, the spirit working in him directly is what they were saying was was the devil of the devil you see that's blasphemy the Holy Spirit but these people are are warping they're twisting it to say just questioning revelations from other persons is blaspheming the Holy Spirit see they just go they have a license to to just twist scripture however suits them to keep be able to unquestion spread their falsehood and and keep a a uh, an obedient unquestioning group of followers in fear see that's a terrorist this is a terroristic a terroristic creators behind this they want to by terrorizing anyone even questioning that they're going to go to hell give them that fear and I've told you I have uh, a shared video where uh, uh, people have even gotten psychological problems from watching this and when I posted that I've had a number of other people all across all ages come to me how they literally had to go psychiatrists they had to get treatment for a long time because of watching these testimonies and here I, I'm showing you what he said here at point six of the six minutes of this video by going against the revelations and saying that they're all now all deformed half human and half animals I mean you know this is sick it's an evil sickness that these creators are doing that they are planting uh, mental terror against the people for even speaking out against against these testimonies when it's 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 a Christian's duty it's a Christian's duty Ephesians 5 verse 11 expose works of darkness Ephesians 5 11 and have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness but rather expose them so you know the devil he doesn't respect the Bible but he knows it cover to cover so he will twist things twist things in order to keep people in his grip Ephesians 2 2 the prince of the power of the air the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience and in this one he's influenced these people long ago to come up with invented stories of people dying for questioning dying early they they and and then also people just going to hell now and that from the very beginning that the Lord told Kenzo that people anyone who who came against his testimony is just going to go to hell the Lord Jesus said tell everything about what you saw but those who do not believe in your testimony will be the chaff I will charge them and throw the chaff that chase you into the fire well wow, isn't that something how, how Kenzo has been elevated you know Jesus well himself will forgive any blasphemy against himself but not not Kenzo Matthew 12 31 to 32 therefore I tell you every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven people but the blasphemy against the spirit will not be forgiven and whoever speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven because Kenzo is the new God you see Kenzo's the new God this, this is he's a false God and he doesn't exist which I proved in my first expose 
so this is the latest and the greatest by this uh, these people they've come up with this new character which they put a lot of thought into but they didn't think far enough hallelujah that uh, they have exposed himself in the process first of all with the story because see, I'm telling you when the father lies sits down he just spews out lies and if you have fed on the word and you're mature in Christ you have honed your power discernment and you can easily see these these lies that the father lies is spewing out through his workers so his workers who have created this they are just revealing themselves as they speak to this however their target audience which are young teens and early 20s don't have that biblical maturity and they have a worldly way of looking at things which involves a, a mindset of getting uh, rewards and levels and and as you work for something here and and video games and such so they just are being held captive so anyway so so that is how it's, it's comes to end her hell visit then this Japanese girl said to be Japanese girl the angel takes him to heaven and heaven's big heaven's a pretty big place and the interesting thing though is that the this angel the angel took her to heaven who does the angel take her to who does she see? Does she see Apostle Paul? Does she see King David? Does she see anyone in her family? No, because the people behind this are working a confidence scam to their target, targeted audience, which is the people of Brazil. So, the person that this Japanese youth is shown is a Brazilian uh, beloved pastor from the past called David Miranda. David Miranda of, uh, of, of the many pastors who have been in Brazil, he has a uh, across the board reputation which um, the majority of the Brazilian people believe he was a, a good pastor and that he he preached um, righteously and so this is a, a, an actual a, mani a manipulation by these uh, people behind it to first of all show a known and beloved pastor who passed on in heaven because that puts the guard down to the people because see they believe he's he's in heaven if anyone's going to be in heaven to the people of Brazil that they believe that Dave Miranda is going to be in heaven they don't have to be convinced so this is is a a confidence scam is what this is called that con artists do first they get your confidence that you will let your guard down so this is what they have used Dave Miranda who is a known person in order to give support to their invented character that they keep planting as I said in my exposed video as this time went by I was certain that they were going to the creators of this keep perfecting the story that they would build ways to cover up the holes that were there and so that leads to the very next setup that they have in order to reaffirm that Kenzo is true through this invention and so I'm going to just read it to you what she said so then this angel he also showed me the crown and the mansion of a missionary pastor Japanese who lived in the United States and who devoted much of his life to gospel and spreading the message of holiness and justice was uh, measuring because he had many experiences with God and worked for him in many countries his works on earth and with water in heaven after your death can I say with safely what he is in heavenly paradise and the his reward is great the angel told me 
that his son is still on earth continuing in ministry it was also revealed to me that the mansion of this this missionary is one of the biggest so not only did they want to plant this this false support that Kanzo is real and is is in heaven but he's got the biggest you know one of the biggest he's been been lifted higher than any evangelist that ever lifted around so he is the mega guy okay never mind that there are in in the history of uh, generals uh, uh, for for the Lord that have done years and 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 bigger achievement than this Kenzo's testimonies have have shown because this is their bread and butter of these channels so anyway so this is how it's painted and and as I'm going to show you right now I'm just going to briefly play for you that character Rana Masona where he's saying he did not start he Kenzo did not start his ministry in the United States and much less had been born there first let me take a moment to explain who Ronald Masona is Ronald Masona is a character in the series of Kenzo Asushi fake testimonies who was said to have been a Satanist in Mutari Africa who had an encounter with Kenzo and who later on arising from that encounter was said to have then converted to Christianity and become a pastor in the same city this is the current video of Ron Masona on Evangelismo's channel. And this next one, this is the first false picture that was said to have been Ronald Masona. This next screenshot is of the video of a person who appeared three months after my exposed video claiming to be Ronald Masona. He was doing a very poor job of reading, obviously, a manuscript in order to give what was a new testimony to override my discovery that Kenzo nor Robert had any trace in the United States and he then proceeded to give very vague answers that they couldn't be found anywhere including he himself couldn't be found to some kind of vague reason now hear yourself him saying that Kenzo did not have a ministry in the United States, much less have been born there. Kenzo began his ministry in the city of Timizora, then includes in Romania where he lived in three cities of that country. He did not begin his ministry in Denver in the United States, let alone he have been born there, as well as Jacob Tanaka reported his Kenzo first experience. Yet what did Naomi report that this angel specified to her about this Japanese pastor? The angel also showed me the crown and the mansion of a missionary pastor Japanese who lived in the United States. So let's just replay what Rana Masona had to say about Kenzo. He did not begin his ministry in Denver in the United States. So we got a situation here. We got someone, Rana Masona, character who says that he got this straight from Robert. And then we have an angel in heaven telling her that Kenzo lived in the United States. So we got a lying angel, I guess. But we already have a lying angel because this angel has taken her to experiences that are anti-biblical and that are even terroristic. So we have an angel that's not a true angel of God. It can be an angel. It can be an angel of light that Satan can become. 2 Corinthians 11.14 And no wonder, for Satan, himself, masquerades as an angel of light. So I haven't even covered the other things. But just the testimony itself, without seeing any pictures, without seeing the other things that surrounding this, that all show that it's falsehood the testimony given itself is that of a liar unscriptural a terrorist 
and a scam artist. So already we can already say the testimony itself given here, besides the fact it's on what is proven to be persons that don't even exist. It's a lie. It's, it's, it's a lying testimony. But let's go into the other things that show that this is a lie. All right, so let's let's do some some figuring, some mathematics of the situation. We have a young woman over in Japan. This character has in um, a city over there in Japan, who's been taking care of her sister from surgery. She's been devoting herself to it. She has been also living a prayerfully obedient life, just cutting herself off from the world. This isn't the first time she has an experience with this angel. This isn't the first time that she has heard such noises. It's, it's inferred that she has gone before to hell. It's inferred. So it's not new to her. And it happens in April. 2020 April 19th so in July that's three and a half months later appears in Brazil a completed video so you know it takes time to do a video and this person had to narrate the video I can tell you it takes time because for me to do this video I've been kind of working on and off of it for a few weeks and I'm now filming this and I, it may take me a few more days or a week or so or more to to put it together the graphics and everything else so it appeared three and a half months later on a channel in Brazil a channel a person called Lu Santos Terceira experiência de Naomi Amaoka traduzido e revisado por o nosso irmã Camille she has a, a, a pretty big channel. And she got this information from someone named Eva Camille, another Brazilian, who said that she was given this from this Japanese girl. So, hey, think about this. You have a reclusive, uh, devoted Christian girl, purportedly, who keeps to herself, has had, has had experience before, and three and a half months later, somehow her testimony appears across the world in Brazil in the Portuguese language. Weird. For some reason, she reached out and connected with a Brazilian person to share this testimony just happened of all the number of people in the world to hook up with a person who who knows uh, a, a Brazilian person with a big channel that has a sushi testimonies who happens to also know Evangelisma online who has uh, many a sushi testimonies when she said herself she was not told the name of this Japanese person she didn't even know who he was. How did she end up hooking up so quick? What would, what would even make her email somebody else if she is so obedient and just living a life of prayer? Why all of a sudden she just reaches out across the world and just, what? To share a testimony? Maybe Dave, Dave and Miranda? With just that person? How, how did she get that connection? How does she get that connection? It is senseless. It makes no sense. It's a huge gap in the, in the storytelling process that is blows the believability. That alone blows the believability. The character they're presenting wouldn't even do that. She's, she's busy being, uh, being prayerful and taking care of her sister. This is a big gap. And it's so fast. And suddenly there's this video in Brazil. Suddenly she's sharing her pictures. 
Okay, that alone is what you call a big flag. And I want to just take time to show you that just the other day, I received on my channel somebody posting a scam out of Nigeria. Now, this person I'm showing you, they present a uh, an angle that they have uh, received a revelation that about a block in the spirit world. The first thing is Christians that we do. We don't believe anything, we're told. And this person is presenting himself as an intercessor between that and that scenario. And then they're asking for money. They're asking for you to donate. Call some, some number they're giving in Nigeria, which they're calling it some name. And just give whatever you want, which includes giving your bank account number, okay? We have the spirit of discernment. God is, God is expecting us to use discernment. He's expecting us to test all spirits. And so the, what I did is immediately I prayed to the Lord. And within a very short time, the Lord showed me that it's a scam that's, that's appearing. First of all, what he showed me is that this channel was created the day before. You see, these scammers, they, rather than putting the energy towards good fruits, they put the energy towards, towards bad fruits and to commit crimes. They're experts at finding photos that arise out of a people viewing it confidence. They give believable looking characters that, that make you feel confident that they're honest or whatever. It's the same thing about this Naomi character, the photographs that they have come up with. And it's a flag. And so in short order, the Lord led me to a, a couple weeks before identical identical claim from the person they're going they as you can see they're going to person after person posting the same identical thing word per word the phone number is different the photos different now I'm showing this to you because sometimes all we get are these little flags that will give us the certainty what we're dealing with is a scam. We will not ever get a full blown out confirmation report detailing, yes, this is a scam. It originated here. It's this character. Everyone's located. You're not going to get most of the time that kind of level of depth. These kind of flags, they're sufficient they're sufficient for you to be confident what you're dealing with is a scam. We're dealing with two different photos, as you can see, give, uh, shown for the same pastor who supposedly had this revelation. We're seeing the same identical thing being told to many different people. And then just the phone number change. Those things identify it positively as a scam. It's the same thing with this a sushi thing happening we're not going to get a blow by blow full report confirming everything we have plenty of flags of different kinds that confirm this is a scam first of all the most fundamental we have bible evidence that this contains heresies there's many heresies, and we have videos that uh, Pastor Lewis has given presenting heresies. I myself, in the very first exposed video, I showed a, a handful of heresies there. And we have then photos that prove that they belong to models. And then we have the flags of the characters never being found. And there's many different flags, conflicts in the, in the, the stories themselves, and so on and so forth. Well, in this particular case with this character, Naomi, the photos now themselves confirm that what we're being told is falsehood. This Eva Camille, who came boldly over to Pastor Lewis's channel, which I can thank God, because Pastor Lewis soon enough exposed this person. We don't know if it's a, a, a man or a woman because the scammers, they can take any profile. You, don't, you won't know who you're dealing with. Well, in short order, 
first of all, Pastor Lewis, and I'm showing you, this is in Portuguese, so Pastor Lewis told this person, Eva Camille ISA, do you know who she is? Prove it then. Put here the church where she congregates, the name of her pastor, president, her email and phone contact, so we can talk to her. If you don't, then close the trap and wash your mouth in the river to blaspheme from those who really went anointed by God. And she, he, replies, Pentecostal Monte Sinai Masao International is stamped on your face by your ignorance, so I won't even argue with those who blasphemed against the Holy Spirit! Exclamation point. I just want to interject here now. This is so a scammer response to react with supposed indignation, such an indignation, so insulted that, my golly, you can't, of course, respond with the truth. Oh, no, because you're so indignant that he has somehow now turned it around because what Pastor Lewis is telling her is true. She is saying wicked things to him, a pastor. Those who are Christians, it's all of us. We're all anointed and sealed in the Holy Spirit, as the scripture says. 2 Corinthians 1 21 22. And it is God who establishes us with you in Christ and has anointed us, and who is also put his seal on us and given us his spirit in our hearts as a guarantee. So when these creators are bad mouthing those who are trying to out them who are who are Christian Christians, you don't even have to be a Christian leader, but that you're a Christian, you're anointed. But see they're trying to turn it around that these fake characters are the only anointed they're, they're trying to make them an, the kind of anointed as king saul a special anointing that's that's above the the anointing that christians have because the anointings that christian have that came later on in the new testament but they twist everything that they can to elevate these to a level of a god and that no one can question so here already we have a scammer strategy this is a scammer strategy to turn around and feign f-e-i-g-n pretend indignation so you're so indignant that you can't even respond and so then this person goes on to say the major proof quote unquote is transformation oh what an evasion oh what a way to to come up with with excuses that you can't give any information out none whatsoever the old transformation angle because so many times see we've already pastor lewis and i have ripped apart a lot of the other excuses but they still cling to this one because we haven't yet come to the part to rip it apart but i'm but i'm working on that one in a video down the road to rip apart this evil that they're doing to convince the infants in christ that these purported transformations are the only evidence when in fact they're not transformations at all so as this person went on to say as their excuse for not giving any kind of proof the major proof is transformation and how many lives have been transformed through these testimonies how many have been freed from vanity and worldliness oh really that's me again <laughs> because I'm telling you that's what the Buddhists will tell you. That's what the Jehovah Witness will tell you. And so on and so forth can go, the, they tell you, with this angle when it's all a deception. And then the, this person ends. The difference is dot, dot, dot. Whoever preaches holiness bothers. Oh, wow, what a reply. What a great, great sound reason why they managed to give an excuse to not give anything because see this particular person that is answering when you look at the history of replies they are very savvy very knowledgeable about the asushi tales in general they give answers 
to everything and and are giving um educative um background to the people in the post really to the level that a creator of the tale would give not somebody who was just for some reason reached out by a Japanese 24 year old to uh, just share a testimony somehow that girl hooked up with a person who has the total knowledge can give you encyclopedic college thesis from start to end and correct you and give you the insights like for instance that Naomi is not to be confused with the the niece of Kenzo the niece well hey who would know that the creator is keeping streamline and so on and so forth we keep reading these things that this Eva Camille posted in the time that this person came out to be the spokesperson the mediator between the mysterious Naomi and the Lou Santos who received it and posted it this person showed up to put all these explanatory posts and to try to also by mistake but praise God it's not a mistake God uh, says everything hidden will be revealed came to Pastor Lewis and was exposed for what they were which came came to the reply that Pastor Lewis gave this person here Eva Camille ISA how can anyone believe that you were not another fake channel your name is Eva Camille ISA or Jean SCCP which of the two are you or none of them but just the infamous animal that invented yet another bedtime story for ox now isn't this twist as interesting as a whodunit novel we got here a new angle brought out because Pastor Lewis recognized that photo of the same identical photo used by Jean SCCP so when he was confronting rather if this was a real person if it was a real person and they were using the same picture they would have just explained this instead we had these channels just they disappeared on this terroristic angle that they use I want to just show you that this person acting as Eva Camille slash Jean SCCP but when the person was coming around in the Eva Camille character mode once more they are trying they were trying to fear control Pastor Lewis now now they they picked the wrong person to try to fear control because Pastor Lewis long ago caught on their invention of two fake social media persons who came against the Asushis and were then said to have died within a year and Pastor Lewis knew already about this angle the angle of terrorism and so that this person turns to try to do this it will work with with somebody who doesn't know the Bible this would this angle would work on someone who doesn't have biblical maturity because it sounds pious it sounds like it might be true but it's actually sacrilegious and it's 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 actually a heresy to be saying that people will go to hell for not believing in Kenzo sushi and I want you to see how they try to work this and they what they're really just doing is twisting a scriptural truth about blasphemy against the Holy Spirit and twisting it out of context as I've shown you before to apply to anything being said by Kenzo Sushi see they they made a literary plant in the beginning of the novel series because see this is fiction and I and I myself shared how I was a fiction writer and I recognized all the craft of fiction being put into these tales and I even exposed how they unfortunately exposed themselves by literally explaining things as a novel writer that that marked they had um, the, the it marked the writing style of the person that they would have the devil 
say the same thing for concerning Kenzo and and Robert in in a literary way, slamming the table and 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 just vowing to go after them. I mean, it's just it's just it was such a cliche. I could see the trademark of the writer, and I shared that in my first exposed video. Well, and this one. They are uh, twisting the scriptures in order to get the people to have a fear. And in their brazenness, they try to control the pastor with this terroristic approach by this is uh, repeatedly trying to instill a seed of fear of him about, about coming against the Holy Spirit is the same thing as when one comes against the Kenzo Sushi testimonies and that was planted that seed was planted in the first Kenzo Sushi testimony it was a literary plant as I told you because when you're a novel writer what you do to make things believable is you make certain to plant along the way background foundational information that when you actually come to it and you further go expound into it in your character you have rooted it somewhere in the story earlier and that's what they're trying to do with making this a, a kind of control terroristic control over the people that right off in the beginning Jesus told Kenzo that anyone who comes against his his testimonies Jesus is going to see as a tear and he's going to throw them into hell well as i already showed you that that's just anti-biblical and it's evil it's straight out of hell and but still they are wicked criminal persistent criminal con artists that they're brazen and they will try and try and try and they tried even so against pastor lewis to try to fear control him with the response that this person gave to him and earlier also they did the same angle with him and I'm just showing you the examples how they work this terrorism I want to give you two examples where they work this try to work this with Pastor Lewis trying to fear control him where they told him Pentecostal Monte Sinai International Mission but one going against God's revelation it must be another world person that goes against sound doctrine you will go to hell if you blaspheme against the Holy Spirit and here's where they twist it going against these experiences well isn't that something that's not how Jesus explained it and then they went on to say Pentecostal Monte Sinai International Mission if it weren't true the kingdom of darkness would not be disturbed so you are here speaking out against the sister's testimony just as you were against Kenzo Asushi. So now they're insinuating that he's working out of the kingdom of darkness. And see, that is actually where they are themselves going into blasphemy of the Holy Spirit against the spirit that works within Pastor Lewis. And so this is the situation here we have with these pictures. I'm going to show you the picture right now because they thought by showing two pictures as this person that it would even further make it believable what they did was just reveal that it's a scam because they gave two pictures as this Naomi character in addition they gave two names two spellings and well that is another thing there to put two different spellings if if this Lou Santos heard from a person who claims that they are, are talking with the real girl she would have the right spelling and she's she presents her with two different spellings well that is uh, an, another thing of of a scammer in order to get search engine uh, power and any possible spelling that's that's the mind behind there rather than getting a spelling of a real person's name we have Naomi ending with Y and Naomi ending with I there's the two characters but I'm going to show you right now the situation here that they had that they presented here 
a look like a selfie image of this person said to be Naomi where you see just a a small uh, section of where she's looking into the into it looks like it looks we can imagine she's taking a selfie that's what it looks like so it looks like they grab a selfie image of somebody off the uh, internet and then in their zealousness to a so there this is really a person they then present another picture that they say is this Naomi girl okay as I showed you the this this fake channel this fake uh, person called Eva Camille gave uh, to Lou Santos two pictures supposed supposedly that were said to be this Naomi one of her and it looked like some kind of office setting and another one uh, purported to be her also in traditional Japanese garb well the problem is that this is not the same person these are two different people and in fact this really kind of uh, gets me up gets me angry because what the person's doing here they have they're banking on their prejudice that all oriental people look alike so the people won't notice that they they'll they'll view all uh, oriental women as look as the same and all oriental men as the same so they have no problem taking a picture of two different women and saying this is the same person and praise God by their partiality and their prejudice they've exposed themselves because these certainly are not the same person when you take this these pictures and you put them side by side and I've done that right here I have here which I'm going to show you. Um, here you have. I'm showing you the uh, the girl and who's shown in the office po photo, and then we have the other other girl who's shown in the traditional Japanese garb. And first of all, right off, you can see we have here the faces are are very different. These are two different women. We have here a. Uh, and the the girl in the red shirt she has a, a round face in the bottom and then we have this woman in the background she has a uh, a narrow uh, chin more na a narrow chin and uh, then we have two different nose types we have the girl in the red she has a broader flat nose and the other one here she has a more narrow nose and then the, the big giveaway is we're dealing with things that you can't alter. The eyes are different. The girl in the office, she has almond-shaped eyes that are large. The other one has smaller eyes. And the eyebrows of the girl in the office, they are long. And they uh, go differently. They arch differently than the one girl in the background who has thick shorter shorter eyebrows and when I take away the back background and I show just the face you see the distinct differences in the jaw structure the jaw structure you cannot alter the woman in the back who was wearing traditional garb her face her jaw is narrow where the woman in the front she has a shorter jaw a shorter jaw and it's around okay so we have two different women two absolutely different women in addition when I took the um, photo of the woman who is in the Japanese garb and I had the Google translate what the words were on the banner now um, it would be great if someone who watches this who can read Japanese would would confirm this because Google Google uh, Visual Translate jumped around in some cases it seemed to be saying that it dealt with a performance some kind of performance of traditional Japanese uh, of a period of, ja of Japanese and this would be why this young woman is standing there in this traditional garb as perhaps a, 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 
a person in, playing in the role of that of that presentation but uh, that that particular um, Google Visual Translator is not a hundred percent accurate it was giving me a couple messages but anyways the point is though if you look at the photo you just look at the photo of the women when you really examine it when you blow it up because see they're, they're presenting a smaller image of the woman in traditional Japanese garb and it's kind of blurred and it's a kind of a deceit to to hide that when you when you blow it up and you look and you put the two side by side you have a hundred percent proof positive these are two different individuals they are not the same woman so we have here another lie with the from the get-go we're being lied to that first of all this is the same person that's a lie these are two different women so we have a lie here it's being given by a fake channel that just disappeared that's a lie here the testimony itself holds uh, unbiblical information and terrorist uh, reaffirmation that they're of their terrorist angle that they have to keep people in fear in addition The photo that's being given, this is where you have to, you sit, you test the spirits. You're being shown a woman in traditional Japanese garb as this Naomi. And you see that girl standing there, you see pretty much around her. But then you're being given a very narrow selfie of purportedly another shot of this woman, which I've shown you is not that woman. But we're, we are being... The viewers are being uh, led to believe that that this is because we have a sincere looking uh, you see a very likable face you see a likable face of a young woman looking up see, that's the only thing about see they're very that's how the scammers are choose so carefully because it's very hard when you look at selfies first of all to find a decent one because there's a lot of indecency going ar around with young persons in selfie. So when they found this particular woman, uh, they, they were sold. And so they, they probably then searched for a matching one of her, but they did a very poor job. They, again, these scammers do not expect people to see well because a lot of their audience, the most majority of their audience, are looking at their... Uh, false stories through cell phones, little screens where these details will not meet their eye. But I have a big screen and I have the capability. Everything that I see on YouTube, I see in high definition. So I can see these things that will escape the target audience. And so what we have here, and we were being shown a, a very narrow shot of a woman that looks like she's in some kind of office scene well you know what you have to test the spirit who really is that person we're being shown what really is the rest of that picture what, what really would be what, 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 what really would we see if we could see the whole thing you know and, and so I, in that end I want to show you what we could we might possibly see I want to show you what is the potential of this person that they picked is such a little narrow snippet and you have to think you have to think about this because we have this young girl she appears decent she's got the 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 blouse button up pastor Lewis though will say that she heard that that uh, light lipstick on her mouth and and on her and her cheeks so it shows that she is is worldly because in, where he is in Brazil, putting on makeup is something that is actually considered a sin, a condemnation. And so that alone to him shows that she's not in holiness. But, you know, some people could say, oh, well, her lips are just naturally that way. But the thing is that you're not thinking. You're being manipulated. And I'm going to present to you the possibility of what you could see. This is the kind of situation that if you, you were able to see the whole picture, the whole scene of what she really could be. I'm showing you here, this is 
right here we're dealing with what you could be dealing with is you're being shown you're being manipulated to believe that the picture you're being shown is that of a Christian when that could be the 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 truth of what it could be in Japan she could be of the Buddhist religion you know, because that's a predominant religion over there she could be following chakras because that is is, is, a, is a belief over there she could have tattoos on the rest of her body she could be surrounded with the idolatry of the region this is why we have to test spirits you cannot sit here and believe things that you're being given are what you are seeing because if, if you do that you're going to fall victim to the scam just like to the Nigerian scammers who present well-dressed men and they call them that they're pastors that that what you're being shown really is what they're what they're saying when when it's a scam we already know I compared to you the two pictures what you're being told is a lie this isn't one person it's two so that's a lie this person can't be having two different names but you're being told two different names spellings of it you're being you're be, you're being lied to that this is this 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 character who had this heaven hell experience that starts out unbiblical because that story itself is a lie so that this is a person that this is a picture of a person who went to heaven hell is a lie too because the testimony is full of falsehood the pictures you're being presented are also falsehoods of what you're being told it's not really what you're being told so we have here the evidence that this Naomi person is another invention we have the proof positive and just with the testimony that unfortunately the targeted audience do not have the biblical maturity to even recognize when they're being told things that are out of the Bible things that are not in the walk of Christ things that are actually against Christianity they don't have the the understanding to know when they the tr the scriptures are being twisted in order to grip them in fear and terroristic strategies to just be obedient fans of this fable this QAnon relative of of characters never seen who tell falsehoods and continue to spread them to keep their grip on the people and to manipulate them some even to levels to commit crimes threaten lives but the worst of it is as as, as um, we have shown that this leads people this particular falsehood in the historic Christian faith following this takes you away from the truth the gospel truth and makes you an idolater and makes you a a lover of falsehood and revelation the book of revelation has such people will not enter heaven revelation 22 15 but outside are dogs and sorcerers and sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and whoever loves and practices a lie idolatry is an abomination to God you will not if you if you depart from Jesus and you go off to follow a foreign God you yourself have abandoned the faith so after careful analyzation and really didn't have to go too far because there's just too much there that it doesn't hold up you see God does not need and nor does God want anyone to tell lies in order to preach the gospel you know we're dealing with warped minds behind us because they don't give up they and rather than re than repent they just go back to the table and try to re-scheme 
ways to continue life into this falsehood because it's biblical it's biblical in the last days people will turn to myths they're going to be people giving things they're going to presenting things to satisfy itching ears it's not going to end so all that that uh, we can do for for one another is to try to snatch people out of the fire try to warn those who will listen and just keep on doing so until the Lord comes because this is a battle now this is a battle we're not going to eliminate it all we can do is to keep sounding the bells try to keep alerting brethren and some are responding and and just keep spreading spreading the truth because you know what I, the Lord abhors people who speak lies in the name of of him the scripture here Romans and in, in Romans 3 7 8 someone might argue if my falsehood enhances God's truthfulness and so increases his glory why am I still condemned as a sinner and this can be you can it pretty much be the Yasushi crowd you know they, they don't get it they don't get that that uh, speaking lies uh, uh, condemns them as a sinner if, if it's promoting the kingdom of God well first of all it's not they're, they're promoting heresies of the devil but even so we have a holy pure God and he does not want anyone lying even to promote the gospel Romans 3 7 to 8 someone might argue if my falsehood enhances God's truthfulness and so increases his glory, why am I still condemned as a sinner? Why not say, as some slanderously claim that we say, let us do evil, that good may result. Their condemnation, is just. And this is their mantra. The mantra to, you know, what, so what if it's lies? If good comes out of it, so many times they say this. So what if it's lies, if good comes out of it? And as Apostle Paul says, their condemnation is just and before I close I want to say something because you know Pastor Lewis is being in my eyes too kind to this channel Lou Santos who has leapt on to promote this she, this person has leapt on to promote it and failed to do the mandate that we're to do as a Christian which is to test all spirits now before I show you what I had uh, found out about that Lou Santos channel I have to update that in the time since I started this whole investigation from Pastor Lewis's contact which was actually in late August I discovered that Lou Santos canal that her channel was actually terminated and we're here at the web page of what was her channel where she had over 82,000 subscribers and uh, in fact I'm going to show you right he here this was her channel right here this is what it looked like she had 82,000 subscribers and this is the uh, second of the Naomi videos that she had posted now I am going to share with you what I found at her at this channel that before it was terminated because it reveals the heart of the motive behind the person that accepts a video that after just some brief investigation shows that it's 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 false the characters are false the source is false and and in a short time I was the Lord led me to quickly see the issue why such a person who professes to be a Christian who has a a channel name uh, with the name saint in it s a s a i n t uh, would do such a thing I'm gonna first show you her new channel that she since started and she, and I won't I don't know exactly if someone gave it to her like evangelism online was handed a channel from somebody else but it may have been a channel that she had on reserve herself and this is her new channel she um, changed the name to say testimonios which is testimony and she started this channel October 21st the channel itself 
originally was started a year before, but it was started without any reference to any kind of testimonies and just used as a channel for uh, vegetables, as you see. And then when her channel was terminated, she took this channel over and she started right back where she was posting testimonies. And these testimonies, she, within, within a short time, it was actually, I believe, Halloween day when she uh, posted a Naomi Amaoka video. And this one is based on Naomi's purported trip to hell. And you see we're dealing with a different spelling, the, the spelling number two. The picture being shown here, of course, she, she shows this thumbnail, she's saying, is a... Uh, image from uh, <clears throat> online and it's not the person but the images within there are still the person now I, I want you to see something okay and in one week she got 688 views okay in her height of her channel which we see here in three days she had 25,000 views now I'm going to show you what I found when I originally visited her old channel which is was I'm calling the old channel it was just terminated a handful of weeks ago she had her video hidden with ads ads to me and the ads or what revealed to me the kind of ads that she was running on these revealed to me that her motive isn't for God her motive is for money and I shared on my channel that in the past I before I became born again I had internet businesses I started actually in 1999 and through my years of being on online, I came to um, learn internet business, internet marketing. In fact, I got so good at it that I actually wrote a course that I sold. And um, so I am very familiar when I see what people are doing that uh, the person not trained in it, they it might escape them. But I can see that this this person is very savvy in internet marketing. And she's, this person, I'm going to call her she, she's carried it over to her new channel. And I know what she's doing it is for the goal to get back up to those 82,000 where within three days she would have 25,000 views. And that would bring her ad revenue. Because we see here in one week she's struggling. She got 688 views, which is a far cry from 25,000. But she's right on top of it. She's aggressively going to build her channel up again. Because I want to show you, when she starts her videos, she doesn't start it out with a prayer, a godly message. You're going to watch how she puts these suggestions to subscribe to her. And she's getting more sophisticated. She'll put to actually like her, which is uh, a subliminal message to tell people to like her video. And as well as, uh, let me see when we come over to here. Okay, here we go. As she's going along, she's she's getting more streamlined with it. She's she, uh, this started a little bit too fast because I've been here before. But anyway, she clicks this to she clicks this to influence the person viewing to like, and then she clicks over here to tell the person to subscribe, and then to click the bell. That's the first thing because she's got the mind of a marketer. I had the mind of a marketer. But when I became a born-again Christian, I became a new creation. So I buried the old me. I buried the marketer. I buried the person looking for manna. I know all these things, but I will first start my videos in some way for what I'm doing for the Lord. I will do either uh, a, uh, a, a song to build the people up, like my, my the song that I have against a war. Or I have uh, a glory given to Jesus, or I will get into the message, but I I will not use these marketing methods as the first thing, because what you put first reveals your heart. That's what's in your heart. What you f do feature first is what's in your heart. And this woman is working to get back up to getting twenty five thousand views in three days because she was making ad revenue. And it's not the evil of the ad revenue. It's that when you when I show you the ads that she was running, when I explain the whole thing to you, what I what I had discovered before, 
and I'm going to, well, how I'm going to do it, I'm just going to play the videos that I had done about four weeks ago showing her channel at the time. You'll understand that this woman's motive is money and why this woman turned a purposeful blind eye to testing the spirits and when she has been told that this Naomi is is uh, given to her by a person who doesn't exist a fake channel she continues on she continues posting this on now I can tell you if she willfully has posted one false testimony well you can pretty much um, uh, have confidence that other things that she's posting is also false if someone willfully posts even one false testimony on their channel you are to depart from such a person because they are practicing iniquity and the Bible tells us that we have nothing to do with iniquity in this new video that she posted this particular one about Naomi Amaoka once more, this is October 31st, and her channel was terminated. She's continuing to insist on the story that this testimony, is, I'm going to put it in English, a split of English and, and uh, Portuguese as it was translated. Let me just go quickly back to where I had done that. Okay, here it is. This is, this is what is on there. And it says, this is the testimony of Sister Naomi Amaoka and the written text were sent to my Gmail by Sister Eva Camille. Well, but you know, by that time, Pastor Lewis did a great expose, and he contacted the persons, and to tell them that this is a false person, false channel, and this Eva Camille channel disappeared, and it really, there's a lot of suspicion that it actually even is an alter ego of evangelism online. But even so, she's continuing to post the story and put this as if it's true and she's saying and she's just deceiving the public by saying and continue to post this falsehood this is the testimony of sister Naomi Amaoka and the written text were sent to my gmail by sister Eva Camille who did the translation from Japanese to Portuguese and asked me to tell the narrator Lou Santos to narrate the testimony and sister Eva Camille had informed me that sister Naomi Amaoka deleted her social networks after having the rapture experience in spirit the two pictures together that appears written okay wait a minute you know what I gotta stop here this is the Asushi trademark their thumbprint there's always some excuse why the persons that are the characters can't be found because they suddenly deleted everything before anyone could ever seen them. In this case, they're hanging it on this Naomi Amaoka that she uh, has been said elsewhere that, that, that when she gave uh, the things to Eva Camille, that before Eva Camille could turn around and ask her to give her contact information, by golly, Naomi Amaoka all on her own deleted all her social accounts all her Facebook after having experience so that nothing can be shown and even though she Eva tried to get it even the fake channel that disappeared so here we are again a bunch of gullible people who are accepting hook line and sinker I mean what level of of stupidity are they going to allow themselves to be viewed at all these followers that they that character after character deletes everything and they're like oh okay oh, okay yeah okay everything disappeared oh okay well is it going to be character number five is it going to be character number 10 is it going to be character number 10 20 or how about a hundred because we already passed character number five and yet every time they're told this type of excuse they don't bat an eyelash and they're a-okay because you know what they're just the part of the people in the scriptures who turned away from the truth and they're falling after myths they love the lie more than the truth and they're and they are getting condemned from this so i'm telling you the majority of these people who are going to be told they're going to be told the 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 facts they're going to be told the scriptural truth they're going to turn away and stay turned away that's biblical we can't we're gonna we're gonna be having a large amount of people following because you know as the Lord has said few are saved few are saved period but many people in the last days 
the Bible has, t has told us, they're going to turn away from the faith, the Christian faith, and they're going to wander off to myths. Well, this, we're seeing this in this Asushi, a myth. We're seeing it. We're seeing it happening. And however, you know, there are going to be some, there are going to be some who are going to wake up and they're going to, they're going to be saved from these myths that lead to destruction. So but anyways, uh, it's just incredible. And you see see here that she goes on to say, Naomi Amoko was sent to my Gmail by Sister Eva Camille, who claimed to have taken the photos on Facebook. See, isn't this so interesting? Eva Camille claimed she got the photos on Facebook, not that she found them on the internet in search of selfies. No, she she claimed to get it legitimately from a Facebook page that, oops, when she went back, it's deleted. My golly, gosh darn it, it's deleted. Can't find it anywhere. Well, how convenient that is. And they just feed these brazen excuses. They're brazen. So anyways, this is what she's still doing. Still has gone back to. Because this was a leading video character. Naomi Amaoka got this person behind this channel as I'm showing you in her old channel this particular video was a money maker ka ching 25,000 in three days wow because look her other videos weren't as popular 1.3 1 1.3 5,000 5,000 5,000 9,000 in a week but see this a sushi fable the fact that she could claim herself falsely as a person who who came forth with a new reinforcement to the Asushi tales drove a lot of traffic to her it drove a lot of traffic and she was sending ads and as I'm going to show you uh, maybe Pastor Lewis when it, when he uh, visited her channel when it existed he didn't get hit with those ads because he's out in Portugal but I Praise God, being in America, being in the United States, I was served the ads that, that this person was making money off of. And when I show you the ads, you're, gonna, um, you're going to learn more about the true heart behind this person. So I wanted to take the time to tell you first that since I did, did visit her channel, and what I'm going to present to you is from that time I visited, that in that time, her channel was this ch particular channel you're looking at here. It's a screenshot that I took. That channel's been shut down. It said it was because of um, uh, copyright violations. But uh, the point is, is that right away, she off to another channel doing the same thing. And she's working hard. And she's working. She's using her marketing savvy to try to get herself up as fast as possible. And um, I'm going to show you first. This is this, this new channel that she has that uh, uh, was just used first as a neutral vegetable site. And um, she came over and she posted her first video there as this new testimonial site on the 21st. Now, the reason I tell you that I know that she's working towards getting what she had before you see, first she was making, her potential to make ad revenue was not much. But she's getting back up quick as, as, as she can, $4 yeah, uh, uh, in, in a time. But her projection right now is $600, 40 to 600 And that's just in a couple of weeks. And if she keeps up, she may get all her subscribers back or close to it. Because Evangelism has, has grown substantially. He's not what he used to be, but he's, he's halfway, almost halfway to where he was before. There's a reason. It's important to see because that you can understand the kind of people that are serving these false testimonies, that their motive is money. It's not godliness. And that's why many of them will continue to reserve them, even if their channels are shut down. Because these are popular testimonies, and for them, it's about how much traffic they can get for the potential to make money, if not ad revenue, uh, to get some kind of donations or or whatever that they had. And and so I'm going to show you the marketing strategy. She's a very aggressive marketer, 
and she's working really fast as she can because I've never seen someone doing something this aggressive. She actually um, is spamming her own visitors with every new video link that she does. When she posted the um, one of the Naomi, the people are talking to her, but she then posts the new video. She, sp she spams all her, her uh, one by one, her visitors with the message. See, she's putting the same thing here to go then. And then that was a week ago when she did this because she's really working hard to try to get people to give views to her videos so she will get more suggestions in YouTube and be able to get her traffic and her subscribers up as fast as she can again she every time she posts a new video she'll come back to her customers to her customers to her to her su her subscribers or her vi even her visitors and she'll just post a new link while she's she's really trying to she's really also keeping the Naomi Amaoka because this was her her kaching she drove a, she got a lot of visitors from that and she wants to leave this to get indexed by the search engine indexed by uh, YouTube to be able to draw uh, more people to her so you see all those people are, are saying all kinds of things to her she'll quickly add in a new link click this link to see my testimony for every new video that she then posts she'll come back that's very she's being very aggressive about it she, she's putting it one by one spamming her own people and this as a marketer, I know what she's doing. I know her motive to do it, and it's very, it's an aggressive strategy. It takes a, a lot of dedication, and this really is when you see uh, the ads I show you that her motive behind this and her her loyalty, her drive, her heart is to income. It's not to godliness was to test all spirits and I don't want to show you why it didn't take me long to see why with this channel who has a responsibility to not deliver falsehood to brethren so quick to take and promote this information which has proven to be from a false channel having false pictures having anti-biblical testimony because manna I was able to see manna is the main interest of this channel owner. You see, this is again a Pharisee thing. You have to always look. The person may speak as they're in holiness. They may look as they're in holiness. But within they can be dead bones. Their works will show them. And when I went over to this channel to see quickly I could see that the reason why this person is, has these took was so fast to put this without doing any kind of even the most basic discernment which would have shown to her that these testimonies this, the, what she was given was false things that, that was being said is even not in the it's not, it's not even biblical because what did I get here I was hit by an, an uh, this person is is get, making ad revenue from showing these things. Don't don't be so so deceived that that every channel you see there that's that's putting uh, Christian um, material on is doing so out of devotion to God. Because really, manna is the drive. Money is the drive for many people. Why they're doing some things? If it's not money, it's it's popularity or some other thing that is not a godly thing. And so here I was hit right away an ad when I went there of a, of a half naked woman on a video she's presenting for on, on um, uh, the third experience. And again, another, I was hit with an ad of, on politics. With uniform nationwide standards. To fix the economy, we have to get control over the virus. As cargas uns dos outros. E assim cumpriremos a lei de Cristo. And then I was hit with an ad on cars. Pilot or passport. Get a great deal on the passport at the Honda Summer Clearance Event today.
terceira experiência de Naomi Amaoka, traduzido e revisado por o nosso irmã Camille. So I'm getting hit with ads. They're not godly. And what's the problem with that? Because you see, I'm a, I'm a, I have my own YouTube channel and uh, in the beginning I considered having ads because you know, when I make these videos a lot, a lot of my videos can cost me money and when I do my music because uh, on my music ministry the Lord has given me that I, that I put here on here you know these things cost me can cost me a lot of money even just th this video here has cost you don't see and you know I take this money out of my needs and so I was trying to find I was considering ads but you know we're to test the spirits and we also are to abide in Christ so you know Uh, we can't have uh, money changers in the house of God and we can't accept money from the devil either and we can't whore ourselves for money so it, it really is the duty when you do these things is that you look at the kind of ads that advertisers that would appear and YouTube gives you I mean uh, AdWords Google AdWords gives you filters where you can filter out the advertisers which would not be appropriate And when I was considering it, I had so many filters because there were so many ads that were not appropriate. And um, that really, I was only left with like one or two. It would be, it was just not worth it. I just didn't, um, for myself, it wasn't worth it. But of course, um, I wouldn't just allow any ads. But this person is allowing any ads. They profess to be holy, but they are whoring their, their, their videos to any advertiser, even things that are, are, are conflicting with the walk of Christ, to put your eyes on uh, uh, material things like cars, indulgences to be, you know, on a massage table, naked, getting, you know, what, you know, like that. And so, you know, these really are not Christian. 1 John 2, 15-16 Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, and the desires of the eyes, and pride of life, is not from the Father, but is from the world. Things that should be there. So, so you know, that's why I really see manna is that person's God. And I'm, and I'm, I'm really certain that even when shown that these are false, that The God that this person is really serving is going to win out and those ads are going to remain and those videos are going to remain and it's only by the fruits, the fruits, which is the works that that you see evident that you can really discern what's going on. Matthew 10 16 Behold, I am sending you out, like sheep among wolves, therefore be as shrewd as snakes, and as innocent as doves. As shrewd as snakes, and innocent as doves. You know, we are in a place, in a time of day, when there's going to be the highest ever of wolves in sheep clothing. So we have to be shrewd. We have to be shrewd and we cannot drop our guard. We have to test everything all the time because we don't want to be deceived we don't want to be one of those who wanders away from the gospel of truth into myths into destruction 